the Duke of Sussex joined other members of his family who arrived earlier to be by the Queen's bedside. Harry was spotted being driven in a convoy of cars heading through the castle gates. He reportedly came to Balmoral without his wife, Meghan Markle. His brother, Prince William, the Duke of Cambridge, and his father, Prince Charles, who now accedes to the throne as King Charles III, are already at Balmoral. A spokesperson for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex said earlier today that the couple would travel to Balmoral Castle to be with the Queen following the announcement of her ill health. Harry and Meghan's Archwell website homepage has become a blacked-out landing page with the words, in loving memory of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II 1926 to 2022. Harry and Meghan, who are living in California after quitting royal duties, were due to attend the Well Child Awards ceremony in London on Thursday evening. However, they have cancelled the last engagement on their mini European tour as Harry travels to Balmoral. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's son, Archie Mountbatten Windsor, is now technically a prince, a title which Meghan controversially claimed was previously denied to him because of his race. His younger sister, Lilibet Lily Mountbatten Windsor, is also entitled to be a princess following the death of the Queen and with her grandfather, the Prince of Wales, becoming king. The rules set out by King George V in 1917 mean Archie and Lily, as the children of a son of a sovereign, also now have an HRH style if they choose to use it. In 2021, it was suggested Charles, in a bid to limit the number of key royals, intended, when he became monarch, to prevent Archie becoming a prince. To do so, he will have to issue a letters patent amending Archie's right to be a prince and Lily's right to be a princess. Until that potentially happens or if it does not, Archie and Lily remain prince and princess, whether their parents choose to use the titles or not.